Welcome to JDG vs KT Rollstar Game 4, in what in my opinion showcased some of the best team fighting and mechanics of the tournament so far in a very exciting back and forth between one of Korea's remaining hopes and China's strongest powerhouse. Thanks for joining me today, let's jump straight into the gameplay. After a shaky blue buff and forcing JDG resources, KT look for more, but before the replay even ends, another play happens mid. But KT is missing moves on up, I believe it was Cuz that secured it. Gonna be able to take that one away from Kanavi. Already a leg up, but they're looking for more. Vault Breaker connects once again. The flash forward from Lehans, but Kanavi's able to get over the wall with his own. And now the grand entrance comes forward. They know that Lehans is vulnerable. Ruler Kanavi. is looking for it. Kanavi finds it first. Blood goes to Ruler. And BDD finds a scatter on the three. Kanavi goes down, and now Ruler is running. Cuz is gonna push him away. Hard on Kanavi. This from Lehans, though. <laughs> over eager. I think if the rotation is already there as BDD is in trouble. Yeah, meanwhile in live you can see BDD struggling ben. here. The dissonance connects. There's the slow and the punch the ground from Kanabi. Locks down the kill on the Syndra. Nine minutes and two uncontested dragons later. KT rotate topside with numbers. Teleport use bottom means that KT fighting around here could be a little bit dangerous. There's the flash forward from Cuz though. They're looking for their target. Polymorph comes in the exhaust. Lands onto 369. Amy is looking for that kill. Takes so long to kill him. They're one for one so far but there's the flash forward they lock that one down the unleashed power on to kanavi gets his flash prepping for dragon three bdd thinks it's safe to push in the bottom wave thing is going to show himself bdd tries to scatter to get him out of the way and he's not going to avoid this one he's just going to get taken down didn't have a stopwatch and even if he did he would have just been dead knowing that jdg have numbers bot lane after taking the third dragon of the game kt looked to pressure the top side of the map in a very clean sequence of plays tp Okay, in they come. Keen looks for it. It's 369 that they go for. First scout of the week does come through. And there's a cease and desist. Gameplay button comes in. And that is two. JDG make a play toward aiming, who's clearing mid lane, but KT responds. Oh dear. Another feather song put straight on cooldown. There's the kick goes through Lahans. It's nicely done there. As Keen dives in, Ganavi might be out of position. He should have a uh, safeguard relatively soon. A BDD. And now the whole scout of the week not going to work out here. There's oh. a flash from Cousin. He picks it up. As Baron spawns, missing goes on a solo mission for Vision, but meets KT's jungler. Still here. Uh, of course, finds a Vault Breaker on a missing, not the target. Uh, season Desist actually going to be invested here. He's dead. There's the leap strike. Keen's going to lock it down. I thought I'd never see the day. Basically, one minute later, the same thing happens again, and pressure starts to settle on JDG. Going to be discovered. Season Desist comes in, and KT are bearing down on them. There's a the Vault Breaker, and Cuz just does it himself. Seemingly finding his groove, Cuz continues with the onslaught of pick plays, but with JDG against the wall, Deathless Ruler has had enough. The flash comes out from Kanavi. Doesn't want to get himself in trouble. Double Teleport flash. to come forward from Keen. He really wants to join this. And they might be thinking that it's Baron time, but in goes the quickness from missing. Great knockoff, but there is so much damage on KT. He's not going to be doing that one again anytime soon. And JDG, oh, they're going to get stunned. There's a flash over from Keen, looking for even more with his counter strike. And 369 will be pounded. And, it and looks, KT get another! It looks like JDG are gonna take it for everything! KT wanna push us there! And Baron is in their sights! And on his and way! And Ruler yeah. are all that's left! Well, Ruler wants to try oh, to- Shockwave! Shockwave. Shockwave is massive on the BDD! Lahens goes down as well! And now the Killer Instinct comes forward! Aiming is looking for it, but Ruler says not today, buddy! And they're even able to catch out Keen, who's looking for Kanabi. It was so good until it was just so bad. With just a bit of Baron left, 369 pushes in the top lane, but KT are on the hunt. Powered, but there it is, the Everfrost to try and keep him alive. But I have a feeling that even with his Zonyas, he is still going to die. That is, yeah, that's... Uh, JDG that's, are on the way. Yeah, they are. They're looking to try and help him out, but that's not going to work out. JDG looked to catch KT, but then it looked bad, and then it looked good again, but then it looked bad again. He wants Ruler! Poor flank. I don't know about this one. It could be dangerous immediately. He is going to go into stasis, but the shockwave was put down. The Void Secret Ruler finds it. Kanavi finishes it off. The Feather Storm is going to be used. Aiming is the last hope here for KT. And the cease and assist goes down onto Ruler. KT is still trying to find it, though. Keen gets one back onto the jungler. But into the back line was Cuz, and he is going to be taken down right there. JDG pressure the map, but Keen finds an isolated knight at the Raptors, giving a little bit of hope to KT Rollstar. Because the gold is even, okay. Cuz. There's the knockup. Do manage to get him over the wall there to relative safety. We've got fights happening all over Keen. the place. As Knight is fighting Keen, he manages to get the shockwave. He goes golden. Can 
can he survive? Are the rest of JDG gonna get here? There's the quickness used by Missing, and now it's Keen that could be in trouble, but he does have the Counter-Strike. There's the Unleashed Power, and it's 369 that pays for Night's sins. And Missing might be getting the same treatment. Oh, oh, oh he's going deep! Back 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 that is so incredibly deep, The Cuz is the one that pays the price. In a bid to end the game, JDG shift their focus onto the next Baron Nashar. Has so many items, Keen it's gone. has teleported in. Can they find a team fight, though, is the question. The Baron is out of it. And Keen, he goes golden, but it's going to be so hard to survive this. Counter-Strike or no, Shockwave is a bit of a hula hoop, but Ruler is still going to say goodnight to Keen. As Ruler takes matters into his own hands, KT hold on with their last breath, but the sixth man of JDG comes up big. For everyone. Oh, oh goes, Ruler. Ruler! He just looks for the hands, aiming, going to get the wild growth, missing goes forward, and he's the one that might be taken down here as aiming's moving forward. Ruler gets exhausted, but he's still going to convince aiming to exit the fight, and now Cuz is too far in. He tries to queue away and somehow it just works out for the JDG 80 carry. They'll take the inner turn. I don't think they're done there. How the hell are JDG still up and swinging? The Kanavi wants to go, still has the kick. Terrible fall. 30 seconds on Cuz. KT are going to try and hold on, but I don't know if they can. Mid lane inhib is going to go down. They do have one Siege minion available. They're going to have to wait for some waves though as they're getting to work on this bottom lane inhibitor. Keen, Counter-Strike now on cooldown just for a little bit, but we're pretty late into this game. 15 seconds on Cuz. Yeah, BDD, can he actually execute someone? Scatter goes wide, in goes Keen. Looks for the opportunity on the missing, but he's so slippery, and now the Nexus is exposed. JDG a few auto attacks away from the semi-finals as the kick comes in. Aiming tries to stand his ground, but the Nexus is being fired. It's a roll! Oh, oh the After a shaky start, China's number one seed show they're there for a reason. If you enjoyed this type of content, check out the video on your screen for yesterday's recap and click subscribe because I'll see you probably tomorrow for another world's recap. Bye!